Hi everybody. Hope you're all well and that you had a good Christmas and that you got all the hobby goodness that you asked for and also that your food hangovers have worn off because mine certainly hasn't. Um, I managed to get some time um, and I've managed to finish this which is for my English Civil War Royalist Army. This is the Saker Cannon from my Ordnance Battery Box. You may have seen in one of the previous videos. Um, and I had a lot of fun painting this up, so I thought I'd just do a quick update, show it off. Um, and yeah, so basically it comes with its own precast resin base, which even though I'm using my own basing system, I thought this is pretty much going to be a static gun position anyway. Um, and why not? But what I have done is I've actually left the cannon itself as removable. So what I might do is um, buy some separate um, gun crew and mount them on the bases that I normally use in case I want this to be a bit more mobile. Um, but then if it's in a static position, just use this. So I've left that detachable. Um, it comes uh, with free crew, although they're all mixed up. I just went by the, the picture that I found on the, on the box and <laughs> on the Warlord website um for who to use so what i shall do is i'm going to stop the turntable when i find the switch there it is oh there we go i'll remove the gabion let's remove the cannon let's give you a look at these i'll put some photos up at the end as i normally do so here we have a guy carrying the cannonball and the box of tricks next to him i have the uh the dude here who's going to light the fuse and a bucket of water and I've just tried using some um, actual um, water effect in there and this is the green stuff world water effect uh, resin that's uh, activated with UV light I thought I'd actually just that's the first time I've used it and I thought I'll try it in the bucket because then I can actually test it and if it goes wrong I'll just paint over it <laughs> and we have the guy over there scooping out the powder that's my favorite out of these guys on this on this set and then this is the resin base itself now this did come and it was uh, it was a bit warped so I had to put it in some very hot water basically boiling water and then flatten it out again it still gets a bit of a curve on it grass has been put on with static grass applicator and uh, I've added just bits and bobs as I normally do I'm very pleased with how that base has come out to be fair and here is the gabion as well so this is the, the position so i've left the inside as just earth there we go using my ground covers and then i've used again static grass applicator and some bits of uh, sort of scrub wood weeds and flowers and uh and then that can just sit there and that's quite good because that's going to be usable in other games as well and then of course here's the cannon so yeah i'm pretty pleased with that i thought it's quite a quite a nice one actually something i really like about this i didn't mention this as you can see where they've dug in the gunpowder barrels into the ground for the store so they can take the gunpowder out partially to protect it partially for convenience now i'm really really chuffed with how this has come out so just just a quick video i should already take that off because i'm gonna fall off um just a quick video just to show you guys what i've been up to a little update for english civil war i know i'm meant to be working on the other musketeer wing but i've got a thing for for cannons so uh i just given the time that i've got at the minute you know the kids are still off and you know we're not it's not like we're seeing anybody else but so uh we've you know got to um oh be on call with the kids so um a cannon seems something i could get done pretty quickly <laughs> that um anyway i'll leave some photos up at the end like i always do i hope you like it and i hope you're all well and all the best and i'll catch you all again soon cheers